Hola! In the previous video, we introduced the general definition of a decoder as a combinational circuit that takes a binary input and converts it into some other form. We then explored one particular type of decoder called line decoders. These activate one output line, but that is not the only type of decoder or use of a line decoder. One other neat application is using a decoder for implementing circuits based on a canonical SOP equation. We know from earlier in the course that CSOP equations involve the ORing of min terms. And we know now that a line decoder can identify particular min terms. So we can build a circuit simply by ORing together the appropriate outputs from a decoder. Here's an example of a full adder. The truth table is shown here with its two outputs. The C output should equal 1 for these particular rows. In shorthand CSOP form, the equation can be written as shown here, where we sum together min terms 3, 5, 6, and 7. So, with a 3 by 8 decoder, we can take the outputs Q3, Q5, Q6, Q7, and pass them all into an OR gate. This fully defines C. We can follow the same pattern for the S output. The truth table tells us which min terms are part of the equation. Here, 1, 2, 4, and 7. Then we pass those particular decoder outputs through an OR gate. This is a nice simple circuit thanks to the device symbol, both in terms of wiring and ease of understanding. However, in terms of hardware and propagation delays, this approach would be less efficient than our earlier approaches for building a full adder because there are more total gates and more levels of gates. One other commonly needed decoder is one that converts a binary input into a seven segment display. You have likely seen these displays on digital watches or microwave ovens. They allow for visual communication of a decimal digit. For any input binary code, Certain line segments should light up, and other line segments should be unlit. For instance, an input of binary 0100, or decimal 4, should light up these particular segments and leave off all the others. Notice how it appears to be a 4. Each of the seven segments requires its own Boolean equation and own underlying circuit to be sure that it turns on and off for the appropriate inputs. This truth table shows all of the segment behavior for each possible binary input. Looking at the same example from the previous slide, decimal 4 should light up segments B, C, F, and G. So, 1s are filled in to those columns, assuming an active high situation. The rest of the truth table was filled in similarly. Simply identify which segments turn on to make each of the digits appear. The bottom third of the table is all don't care conditions. This is because we must use four bits on the inputs to be able to count eight or nine, but decimal 10 through 15 cannot be represented with a single digit. So those binary inputs should never appear as inputs, hence we don't care about what those outputs should be. Given this truth table, pause the video and try to find the simplest possible equation for segment B and for segment F. Here is the K-map I developed for segment B. Those don't care conditions help a great deal in making a simple equation. The bottom and top rows form a group of eight. Then there are two vertical columns that are groups of four. The SOP equation from these groups is shown here. But do you notice any patterns that can help us simplify further? These last two product terms feature the same pair of variables. In one set, they are both complemented. In the other, they are not. This means the output is true if both x1 and x0 are false, or if both of them are true. This is the definition of exclusive NOR. So we could write the equation this way and use just one gate to handle both product terms. 
My k map for f is shown here with the resulting equation below. We could continue this approach to find equations for all seven of the segments, and then we can build a circuit that connects the four input bits to those seven output lights. This would complete a binary to seven segment display decoder. Remember that decoder, in general, just means a device that goes from binary to some other form.